The Voyager 1 is the farthest object ever produced by humans from Earth. This was launched by NASA on September 5, 1977, with the purpose of studying the outer solar system. It is approximately about 23,737,577,852 kilometers or 14,749,847,051 miles away from Earth as of October 2022. Additionally, it is accelerating away at a rate of 61,198.15 km per hour or 38,026.77 miles per hour. NASA's Deep Space Network DSN, allows us to connect with it despite the great distance between us, even light takes approximately 22 hours to travel that distance. But how far can Voyager 1 travel before communication breaks down? How long can we keep in touch with Voyager 1? NASA emits a 20 kW radio transmission from Earth via the Deep Space Network. Voyager 1 receives the signal after almost 22 hours, so it is estimated that it is 22 light hours away from our planet. NASA's interplanetary spacecraft missions are supported by the Deep Space Network DSN, a global network of American spacecraft communication facilities with hubs in the United States, California, Australia, Canberra, and Spain, Madrid. In order to pick up signals that are hundreds of times weaker than a typical FM broadcast, each complex contains a massive 70-meter antenna as well as several 34-meter antennae. The space probe's sensitive antenna detects the DSN signal and responds with a 20-watt signal. The signal diminishes as it travels across space and it takes another 22 hours to reach our planet. It is barely even detectable when it reaches Earth, but the DSN is still able to pick it up. Theoretically, as long as Voyager 1 keeps responding to us, there is essentially no limit to how far we can communicate with them. Even if the Voyager 1 is several light years away from us, we could continue to reliably communicate with it for a very long time with the technology we have now. Despite this, we only have a limited amount of time left to contact Voyager 1. The probe's nuclear-powered electrical supply deteriorates daily, which is the reason we might not have a lot of time left. No nuclear reactors are used to power Voyager 1. It makes use of three radioisotope thermal generators RTGs, which use Peltier devices to transform the heat from decaying plutonium and convert it into electricity. It is quite dependable, not overly fancy, and devoid of moving components, yet it generates far less electricity than a nuclear reactor. Pale Blue Dot and Voyager 1 Engineers disabled the spacecraft's camera in 1990 to conserve power. But first, it was instructed by Carl Sagan of NASA to spin around our planet and take a picture of the Earth from a huge span of space. The image known as the pale blue dot was captured from a record-breaking distance of almost 6 billion kilometers or 3.7 billion miles from Earth. In the image, Earth is depicted as a tiny dot that is about 0.12 pixels in size against the immense size of space. The pale blue dot remains the furthest picture we've ever taken of Earth, as of January 2019. The aging probe continues to astound us. On November 28, 2017, a set of its thrusters successfully fired for the first time since November 1980, a period of 37 years without operation. Only four of the 11 scientific instruments on this probe are still operational as of today. These devices are being used to gather information on solar winds, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays far away from our solar system. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the huge, bubble-like area of space that surrounds and is produced by the Sun, and entered the interstellar medium for the first time on August 25, 2012. Up until 2025, we can still contact Voyager 1, the extended mission of Voyager 1 is anticipated to last until about 2025 when its radioisotope thermoelectric generators will run out of electricity to power its scientific equipment. It will be farther than 15.5 billion miles 25 billion kilometers, from Earth at that time.
Scientists will communicate with Voyager 1 and receive the important information it gathers until it eventually sends its last bit of data and disappears silently into space, never to be heard from again. Even if we are unable to contact Voyager 1 one day, we have to remember that it has given us innumerable amounts of information about outer space. For more such videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.